more concerned with that. See, this is the problem, folks. You got this guy calling, it, calling himself a pastor. Do not let this guy reproduce. As we love people, we want to see you go to heaven. I don't want to see you go down. How can you be a youth pastor and you smack that out of my hand and get in my face? Because what you're doing is hate. Come on, relax. Stop. How is this hate, bro? We're trying to help people. Oh, we're spreading the truth. That's not the truth. It is the truth. Yeah, right. it's, it's, it's taught from the Bible. Wait, it's not. You need to continue. You're Are you telling me these people, if they stay in their sin, they're going to go to heaven? God's yes. really bad. And we'll all be watching you from no, heaven. Brother. Every single sin. Fucking every cute. future sin. Every sin. Not every, every future sin. sin. No. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Repentance and forgiveness of sin should be preached in his name to all nations. Let us ask God to strangely warm our hearts and set our souls on fire. Because the Bible's literally unfolding before our very eyes. We know it's true. We know the word of God is true. We know that Jesus is real. We know that he's coming back. We know that we have a chance to repent before it's too late. Now they want to try, there's there's some countries that are trying to enforce a vaccine mandate. A vaccine mandate. But you can't enter their country unless you're vaccinated. There's some cities now in the United States that are trying to make this vaccine mandate. New York, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Las Vegas. Trying to enforce the vaccine mandate. Boston wants to do it. And so it's all preparing and paving a way for all the nations to get on the same page so that you cannot move without getting the mark of the beast. You can't buy or sell without getting the mark. Right now it's getting hard to travel. Right now it's getting hard to move without getting the vaccine. Right now it's hard to buy or sell in those big cities without getting the vaccine. You're losing freedom more and more day by day. And this is what the devil does. Jesus says the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He wants to steal your rights. God created science, sir. God created science. You believe in science alone? Are you insane? You think the laws of physics just popped up by themselves? That's insanity. Use your brain. I'm a free thinker. That's why I'm a Christian. I like to use my brain that God gave me. I like to read nonfiction called the Bible. There's a lot of atheists out here. California. A lot of atheists. Why? You're just angry, bro. You're uneducated. You have nothing to say. You have nothing intelligent to say. Homosexuals will not inherit the kingdom of God. Homosexuals will not inherit the kingdom of God. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Come say something. I am showing love. I'm showing a lot of love. No, I'm not showing hate. You know, you know who you should be talking to? The person that gave me the finger. That's the one showing aggression and hate. I think your eyes are mixed up. He did come for everybody. That's true. That's true. And you too. Yes. I never said I was perfect. Why aren't you rebuking the guy that gave me the finger? Why don't you correct the guy that gave me the finger? But wait, you're telling me that I'm hateful, right? I'm talking. Well, no, because I'm here to preach. I, I want to use the microphone. I am preaching. Right? How am I showing hate and aggression? I'm not the one giving the finger. That's the aggression. Yeah, that's true though. No, I'm frustrated at the devil. I hate the devil. I hate demons. And I feel sad for people that are blind. Because Jesus says the blind follow the blind. Jesus says the blind follow the blind and they both fall into the ditch. Well, well, not once you come to Christ, you're not blind Oh, I love homosexuals too. But that doesn't mean that I tolerate their lifestyle. No, I'm going to keep... I have to, I'm going to preach on the microphone, bro. 
Brother, I do have the heart and mind of God. If you love people, do you sacrifice time for people? Okay. If you love God, you would be happy that the preacher, you'd say, hallelujah, praise God. You, you're, it doesn't matter. God likes how I'm preaching. I don't need your approval. I have God's approval. I have God's approval, my friend. Where's your love, bro? Wait a second, bro. You're telling me to show up. Where's your love? Give me a fist bump, bro. So you're telling me that I'm being judgmental while you come and judge me. You're telling me that I'm being aggressive and I'm giving you a fist bump. You don't want to give me a fist bump. Do you see your hypocrisy, bro? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not the one preaching to love people. He is. No, no, no. He's not practicing. He, no, 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 no. I did it. I gave him an elbow. Wait a minute. I gave him an. I gave him an elbow. Wait a minute. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. You have a. You got a bad brain, sir. You got a bad brain. This guy's preaching to me to love people. I wasn't saying that to the other guy. I was pointing out his hypocrisy. See? You're pointing my your finger at me, bro. Here's the hypocrisy again. Do you read the Bible every day? Yes. Every day, yes. Did you know Jesus commands us to judge people? Yes, before he, he judges us, which is worse. But I'm telling you, I'm doing the same thing, and you're not accepting me. I'm telling you, be more loving, be more subtle, bro. Jesus comes with love and peace, bro. You're like, you're, you're bro, ignorant. Hold on. You how can you preach me. love to me when Jesus you won't even give me a fist bump, Jesus bro? Will. A fist, you need a fist bump for what? To prove that you're not being a hypocrite right now. I'm not Thank being you. A I'll give you two, and I'll there you still go. be a hypocrite. Look, don't be a hypocrite. I can still be a hypocrite. hypocrite. No, Jesus says, don't be a hypocrite. All right, then what does a fist bump have to do, brother? Because I'm trying to tell you something. Are you? Okay? We're commanded to preach the gospel. We're I commanded to preach right. repentance. All right, but with love, bro. I am yeah. preaching with love. I'm not giving yeah. the finger at people. They're the ones giving the finger at me. You should be upset with the homosexual so giving the finger. Jesus wasn't crying when they spit at him. He no, he wasn't. He was rebuking the prideful. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. Bro, Jesus didn't say nothing when they were spitting and kicking him and whipping him. He that was during crying. the cross. He I'm said, talking exactly, about before that. Exactly. Look at you. You're crying because they're giving you words. I'm not crying. Jesus. Look at my eyes. Whipped. Do I see eyes? Here's my eyes. Hey, I'm hyper. You should put your microphone down and speak to me. The only reason, I bet you, I bet look, you all you listen, the only reason I said that was to try and get you to think differently because here's the thing. If you're upset with my approach and you think I'm not loving, yes. what I'm trying to get you to, say, to think of is Think of the real crowd that's not loving is the sinner. You should be trying you're to. You should be. You're a sinner too. I used to be a sinner. No, you're a sinner. The, you're forever a sinner. No, the yeah. Bible teaches us no. you're supposed to become when a Jesus saint. Comes, when Jesus comes, is when you're gonna be clean by Him. You're gonna be spotless clean when He comes. No, you could be He's clean before you. that. Revelation three four says there, there, there were those who did not yourself. defile their garments. You, you could be clean now after you come to Christ. He washes you, you through His Word. You can maintain yourself, but the way you're talking and, they, and disrespecting people by calling them names and you're gay, you're going. Help. Yes, that might be true. Well, the Bible says I know, but you, the Bible doesn't say it like you say it. It says, neither thieves, nor liars, nor drunkards, right. nor homosexuals right. Right. shall inherit the right. kingdom of God. Right. That's right. that's the banner. They don't it go also, to heaven. It also it's in says, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses practice, 9 and 10. Not to practice anger. Not to practice anger. And all that stuff it says, be angry and sin not. Ephesians 4. Yes. 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 But, but what I'm trying to say is, bro, is You're not trying it, to you should, you, instead, of, instead of correcting the preacher of God, you should be wanting to correct the sinner of the Excuse devil. Me. Excuse me. You're the preacher? Yes. But I'm the disciple. I'm learning. I'm a disciple too. I'm always learning. I'm learning. I'm a, I'm a student okay, I'm of Jesus. Okay, I'm telling you something right now. God came to me right now and told me Do you do this good. work yourself? Saying, do you preach openly? I don't openly? need to. Okay. Everybody can well, if you don't do this, I'm going to ask you, do you go to a hospital and tell a surgeon how to do surgery when you've never done surgery? What are you talking about? Well, if you've never preached open air, how can you tell me how to do my job if you've never done it yourself? This is a job? Yeah. This is my job. Yeah, I serve the Lord. It's a lifestyle. It's this, is, life. this is my work for the job. Lord. I'm trying to show there's a lot of hypocrisy coming out of you, brother. No, and I'm concerned for you. Don't disrespect them like that. Don't disrespect them like that. That's the problem that you guys are disrespecting each other. You're calling people ignorance and and stupid I love and all people, that stuff. Bro. All right, then prove it. Talk with I love. Am. I'm talking if calmly. If you would talk with love, you would have more people listen to you. But you have people giving you the finger and telling you things because you're giving the word no, wrong. Maybe I'm giving a little bit of tough you're love. The word, don't well, give me a little don't, bit of tough love. Because each individual is different. Each individual is different. You talk to him with tough love and her with soft love. Each and every person you gotta treat. Well, you know, sometimes bro. Jesus spoke a little tough at some people. It all depends, you know. We go by as the Spirit leads us as Christians. 
Look at how many people. Well, he loved everybody to die for them, but that doesn't mean that he tolerates their lifestyle. I haven't disrespected you. No. Well, not regardless, because pe people who die in their sin go to hell. I don't agree with that. I love But I still love you. Well, I love people too. That's why I'm here to try and warn them of their destruction. I want to hate them. I want to hate them. If that makes one happy, then they should be able to do whatever they want. That makes them happy. Does that affect you? Let me be, I'm more concerned. Can I answer your question, please? I want to talk peacefully. Yeah, talk okay. to her because you're I'm not, not on my level I, I'm not concerned with. Stupid. Well, I'm not concerned with people being happy. I'm concerned with people being saved. I'm trying to. Okay. Then I'm trying to tell him. I'm concerned, I'm concerned with you. I'm concerned with people. I'm concerned with. You're a list of all these things. Muslim. That's fucked up. I'm not even a preacher. I'm not. Like Jesus loves everyone, regardless. That's honestly fucked up. It's 2021. Like this is. You're a youth pastor. I am. And this is not what we teach our kids. Let me talk. Alex, you're a youth pastor. You're a pastor. I am. Which church? I'm also an ex-con. Which church? Which church do you go to? Okay, I think you need deliverance from demons, bro. Alex, you're a youth pastor, and you smack the card out of my hand. This is not what we want our kids to grow up I don't want to see your kids on this list. I'm more concerned with that. See, this is the problem, folks. You got this guy calling it, calling himself a pastor. Do not let this guy. As we love people, we want to see you go to heaven. I don't want to see you go to hell. How can you be a youth pastor and you smack that out of my hand and get in my face? Because what you're doing is hate. Come on, relax. Stop. How is this hate, bro? We're trying to help people. Oh, we're spreading the truth. That's not the truth. It is the truth. It's, it's, it's taught from the Bible. What it's not. You need to continue. Are you telling me these people, if they stay in their sin, they're going to go to heaven? God really bad and will all be watching you from heaven. Every single sin. Fucking Every future sin. Every sin. Not every future sin, no. Has been died for on the cross. Yes, sir. Everyone has been redeemed. Yes, sir. Every day. Is the devil going to heaven? It doesn't matter where he goes. Hey, man, the Bible says man. even the devil believes in Jesus. So according to your theology, that's that would mean that demons you. go to heaven. But look at the devil's a lost son. He's seeking forgiveness to this day, I'm sure. Hear me, brother, because I'm more but here's, here's what I'm trying I'm to say. Than you Jesus says to repent or perish. Luke 13, 3. Hebrews uh, 12, 14 repent. says, without, repent. let me talk to him peacefully. I talk to you. I'd like to talk to him. Brother, you're telling me to talk lovingly and peacefully, and now you're cutting me off. This is hypocrisy. Oh not love you. I'm this is, you when you're wrong, brother. You're this is hypocrisy. I want to talk peacefully with this youth pastor because I, I think we can have a good conversation. Out of you well, you want to talk to him if he calms down and we stay calm, we can have a peaceful that. talk. That's okay. Okay. You're showing Here's the word what of Jesus this. said straight from the Bible. Well, let me say this first. I'll Here. let you read it after. We can do. We can all take right. our turns to speak. Okay. We can talk peacefully as gentlemen. That's all he wants. Okay? Look. That's all you want. I hope you put everything. God bless you, my friend. Read your Bible. God bless you. And yes, pray. Read your Bible. That's it. Amen. Because Bible, man is always going to be. Yep. Says. Put the camera on it. Man is always going to be now, wrong. Jesus right. says man, to preach repentance the heart is deceiving. and remission right. of sins. If you repent and you're true, God will forgive you. You have to turn from your sin. Believing in Jesus is the first step. And immediately after, you must repent. You cannot you know stay you on this list. It says that nor thieves, nor liars, nor drunkards, nor homosexuals. Yes, sir. When was the last time you committed a sin? Not inherit the kingdom. I don't, I don't do those finger. things. Though. Throw the first Where's stone. Where's the ring bro? on your finger? I'm sure you're not a virgin, right? No, I, I, I no. So you're say. a sinner. So you're saying right here, on here, an adulterer, right there, a greedy pig, a liar. You there have defiled about five things on this list alone. So that said, you are preaching the wrong way. Yep. You're preaching the wrong way. Is that how they talk to well, you? I'm an ex-con. Before you, before you were saved? I went to prison. Did they call I you helped angry? children to this day as a youth minister. I used to have a fucking swastika on my arm right here. Brother, you can't be a pastor and swear. Yes, so there's, you can. there's children out here, we, brother. Hey, Look, when we have the That's spirit of God, we have the bro, spirit of self-control. Now listen. Now listen, I, I I used to be on this you know list. I'm gonna pray for you I used to be on this like list. Well, God doesn't hear the prayers of the, of the sinner. Unless you repent, that's the only prayer that a sinner that God's going to okay. hear. So you have to God repent. Does, God, how is he going to hear you? He's, it, it, means, it means that he refuses to hear you. It refuses to hear your petition. What does the because thing it's me in the Bible? Proverbs chapter 28, First John 3.22. Hold on. What is the thing? First John 3.22 says, And we ask and we receive of him because we keep his commandments and do those things pleasing yeah. in his sight. Okay, so John where does 31, he doesn't hear? John 9.31. Go. All right. says, God does not hear the prayer of sinners. Okay. You were a sinner, right? 
Did he hear you? Th that's talking about people who continue to stay in sin without repenting. If you no, repent, that's the that. only prayer. Exactly, okay. I know that. I so know if you're that. not repenting, God's that. not going to hear your prayers. I, but I am. It doesn't and sound like it. Can, oh, yes. I could repent right now. Look, Jesus, I forgive that's me not, my Okay, sin. that's not true. Re no, true yes. repentance means you change. Yes. It doesn't just mean, God, I'm sorry. Okay. And you just you say sorry. What? That's not well, true repentance. Me, you're not showing the love of Jesus. You're not spreading the word that you're like you're supposed to. I'm for it. I'm for it. I'm Christian. But you, you need what to What do you want me to say? I, 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 everybody goes to heaven no, no matter what because the Bible doesn't say Let me show you. Let me tell you something. You don't need to go to church. You don't need to... Do anything, all you need to do is believe in God, read your Bible, and pray every day. Don't believe your own heart because your own heart is deceiving. Alright? Don't trust your, your mind, your heart, anything. Trust in God only. And those that don't believe, those that don't believe will see God one day. So if you want to believe in something, might as well believe in something good, not something bad, not something negative. Alright? And don't let other people discourage you from looking for God. Certain people like this. All right? Just look for him as a personal relationship. Just like you have you with your wife and you with your homeboy. Like, just like that. It's a personal relationship. That's it. All right? That's it. And that relationship begins when you turn from sin. Because sin separates Did us I call from God. Raise sin your hand if you're gay. separates us from God. Raise your hand if you're gay. Jesus still loves you. Oh, he, he, he wants you. Be quiet. I, that's he not what the Bible gay. says. The Bible says that God hates all workers of iniquity. Psalms no. 5 5. No, he loves all his creation. Well, he loved past tense all his creation to give us his son to die for us. John 3 16. Yeah. Loved his past tense there. God bless you. I, I hope you uh, I hope you change the way you think and, and enlighten by opening up your Bible. Okay, try try harder. It's tough love, bro. Hey, tough love, bro. You don't know the Bible. I'm sorry. That's why you're acting like this. No, I don't because I haven't said anything disrespectful to you or to the people. Yes, you have. What, what did I tell you that made you cry? No, I'm not crying. Okay. I'm just I'm just trying to prove you wrong okay. because you're trying to do the same thing to me. What is it that I told you that was wrong? You're telling me that I'm preaching hate. You are because you're it's calling It's disrespectful people because, because I'm, preaching, I'm preaching love. Okay, there's a, there's a thing. Look, if I tell you, you do a mistake and I tell you. I don't Damn, think. you really fucked up. That sounds bad, but if I tell you, you know, that's different. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. It's not how you say it, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. There you go. There you go. You see, when you talk like that, when you talk like that, it makes me think. And it, yes, because it makes me think. You know, it's, he's concentrating, he's acting right, he knows what he's saying, his demeanor is calm. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll you still no, Which am. proves my point. When somebody has pride, you gotta go and show them tough love. You got pride, bro. I even tried to give you the news to try and help you in the way you wanted to receive it, and you still didn't receive it. So that tells me something. You're not genuine, and you need tough love, and that's what most people in America need today. That's why I'm out here showing some tough love. And if you don't like it, go ahead, do it the way you want, that's fine. But I'm going to do it the way I, I, I feel led by the Holy Spirit, and that's fine too. Because Paul says in Philippians 1, 14 through 18, However the gospel is preached, whether it be in love or contention, I rejoice no matter what that the gospel is being spread. So, I'm just rejoicing no matter what that the truth is being spread. It's got to be the full gospel. And the full gospel is not a full gospel without true repentance being preached true. Because the grace of God will only save you. If you truly repent, without true repentance, no grace of God will save anybody. All right. So, let me tell you something. Why can't you show the love of Jesus through your message? I was. I was talking to you private. No, no, no. This is to everybody without disrespecting. Well, I'm, I'm speaking out loudly. The, Jesus commands us to speak out loud. Matthew 10, 27. Jesus says, what I tell you in the ear, go and shout it from the rooftops. Proclaim it. Proclaim what? The gospel, the truth. Proclaim what? Repentance and remission of sins. Luke 24, 47. Because we're in a land of pride, bro. We're in a land of pride, bro. I, when I go and I preach in third world countries, they're not like this. They're not like this. And, you know why in third world countries? They're more humble. They're more humble. They have more respect for the word of God. Here in America, a lot of people have disrespect for the word of God. They have disrespect for the truth. This is the truth. I'm actually defending it. That's why I came to tell you something. You're defending what you believe it is. No. You're not defending the truth. No, because I wouldn't yell bad things at people. I wouldn't. You're doing it to me. What did I call you? Say it. They're basically calling me a liar. Basically, but not literally. Or okay. It's the same thing. Tell me. What did I call you? What is it? 
You're saying I'm not doing it right, and I'm preaching the things that aren't true, Is that right? Calling someone a name? It's pretty. It's indirectly calling me a liar. Yeah. Lie. All right, bro. You see? We can agree to disagree. Yeah. Uh, I'm cool with that. No, I'm fine with that. Because the gospel's peace, the truth is being spread. The victory is already being won right now in the spirit. Hallelujah. Good. Listen to him if that's really him. It is. Who else would it be? <laughs> you don't believe that he talks to me? You serious? Brother, there's a lot of people that think God talks to them. Does that mean that he's talking to everybody? Or does it say that he doesn't talk to me? Brother, if you're in the flesh... You're not going to hear from God. Yes, you are. No, you got to be in the spirit. Right now, you're not. That's right. Because you're saying things that aren't true. So basically, everybody is not saved unless they, unless they, look, I know that everybody has to repent before being saved, but it's still a process after that. That's like true. Said, I when, agree with that. Hold on, when Jesus comes, he's going to clean you fully. Sanctification. Well, fully. That, yeah. that's if you obey what he's telling you right. to do. If you so that if lifestyle. people don't obey God yeah. after they claim to believe, okay. they're not truly believing, they're how not truly followers? repenting, how and many, then they're not going to be how saved. How many people have you had tell you amen, thank you, Jesus, or have them right More than you think. You? More than you think, really? believe I'm, it or not. I got yes. a person in contact right there. I want to see how many people. Obviously, most people aren't going to like the message, bro. No, I know that. They killed Jesus. But it's the way. Who? They even killed Who? Jesus for they? this message. They? Who's they? The hypocrites, the God haters. You were a thing. hypocrite. You killed How them. How am I a hypocrite? You killed them once. I used to be a hypocrite. All right, you killed them before. But I'm not a hypocrite All anymore. All right. Did I used to be on the list. Did they talk to you the same way? I was spoken to pretty tough, yeah. Yeah, who was it? Who was it was my, my pastor at the time, my mentor. Where was, where's this pastor from? It was a house church, Cleveland. In Cleveland? It doesn't have a name, right? No, it was a small Damn, house church. Damn, I can't find it, huh? Oh, well, hey, how about all those churches back then it. when they first started 2,000 years ago? It. They didn't have a name. They must have been illegitimate, right? What kind of thinking is this, bro? You know the first I'm... churches started in caves listen, and homes. Listen, all right. So why are you telling me that? Were they illegitimate because they don't have a name? So why should we go into a room and look at the Because Jesus commands you. It's Matthew 6, 6. He says... He says, go in your room, close the door, and pray to your father. And your father, who sees what you do in secret, will reward you openly. So I'm just telling you what Jesus says. This isn't my opinion, bro. This isn't my opinion, bro. God oh, bless you. What does the other side say? I'm not defending the word of God. Yeah, no, Jesus didn't defend sin. Jesus didn't defend sin. Jesus, Jesus rebuked sin, though. I'm showing the Lord Jesus. I'm not giving anybody the finger. I'm not swearing at you. I spoke to you very calmly. I didn't say anything. I didn't go first day of God right now. What did you say? The cook of prayer. To speak softly. Let me see some salt. And it also says you do both of them at a time. If you're led by the Spirit, there's different 